Hi everybody, I'm Julie Benacampi and we are back with the drink of the week at Donnawald Distributing Company. Um, this week we are going to make a blackberry whiskey smash. So this is kind of involved, but it's so, so good and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. We will start, um, we've got your shaker, so it's always good to have a nice handy shaker. And we are going to start with our whiskey. I've got about a quarter of a cup of whiskey. Yes, that's a little bit stout, but you won't taste it um, in the cocktail. It adds a nice depth to it, to the cocktail, and just really complements the blackberry flavors. So we used Backwoods Bourbon Whiskey. We love the Backwoods brand here at Donald. They've got a great selection of flavored whiskeys, moonshines, rum creams, but this bourbon whiskey is absolutely delightful. So we've added our quarter cup of whiskey and we're going to add a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice. If you don't like to squeeze lemons, you can always use lemonade. Just try to make sure it's high quality um, lemonade, such as like a Sunkist, or even if you want to make a homemade lemonade, it just really helps up the flavor in this cocktail. Then for the next part that we're going to throw in our shaker, I made a Blackberry Simple Syrup. So don't let that scare you. It's super easy to do. All you do is take about, I took about six ounces of fresh blackberries and about a quarter cup of sugar, a tiny bit of water, and put them over medium heat on, in a saucepan on the stove for about 20 minutes. And then you discard the actual berry and any seeds that might have fallen off. And you get a lovely, beautiful, simple syrup. You can do this with just about any fruit. Um, strawberries I'd make a wonderful simple syrup for this cocktail as well if you want to if you don't some people don't like blackberries but I really do so you have the blackberry simple syrup that was about um, probably about a half a cup and if you have any left over it's great to pop into ice cube trays and freeze and save for cocktails or tea um, or even your water just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor and then we will hit it with a little bit of club soda, not much before you shake, so otherwise you're gonna get a fizzy mess, but just to add a little bit more in there. So, of course, we use Canada Dry club soda. Make sure you get your shaker lid on nice and tight. There's been a lot of accidents caused by that. You gotta give it a really good shake. Shaker gets really cold, so that's nice. And always fill your shaker full of ice. It's really good to have a nice cold surface to work with. Syrup's all mixed up in the whiskey. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. And then just pop your cocktail over the ice. How pretty that is. I do like to top it off with a little bit of club soda just to kind of give it a little bit extra fizz. And then just for pretties, of course. Everybody likes a pretty cocktail. Add a few blackberries and enjoy the Blackberry Whiskey Smash. <laughs> 